You know, last time we talked about the Diva search, I kind of got a little backlash on that because as much as I care about that division, I would probably never bash it, but I did anyway because those two in the Diva search, I don't think they deserve it, but in a way, it is what it is. But we're not talking about them. We're talking about this 16 Diva tournament. Because apparently Awesome Kong won the Divas title. And apparently these are very interesting brackets from what I hear. Because the winner will face Awesome Kong in this tournament for the title. And so far these brackets are kind of weird. But at the same time it's really good. I mean the only ones that advanced so far was uh, Exana, who... Honestly I am... Not really surprised by this win. But, uh, you know, against Eve Torres, but, uh, I just don't really know what to say to it. Because, uh, at first it's not really that shocking. But, I guess it is what it is. And it looks like from these brackets, they are not really changed much from what I've seen. Because, uh, you know, overall these are pretty good, but some of these are really weird as well. Because, uh, I guess they changed to have both of them on, and I don't know why. But, I mean, Maurice versus Alita. One of the Bellas versus Tori Wilson. I know what we said before, Oxana versus Eve, who already, what that's already happened. And I don't know who the fuck those two are. In the next bracket, it's like either Ariel or Maxine versus some random bitch. I have no idea who that is. Whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. And Keisha, Tom Keisha Thompson versus Kelly Kelly? What the fuck is this shit? Layla versus Velvet Sky? Rosa Mendez versus Lacey Von Eric? That kind of makes sense. Um, Jillian and Brooke Tessmacher? This is either a dream bracket or I don't know what else this could be. This could be a fucking train wreck the way I'm looking at it. This is, you know, as soon as I was about to say something good about the division, I'm kind of wondering about it now. I mean, some of these are interesting matches, don't get me wrong. But uh, some of them, especially if I don't know who the fuck you are and you're in a bracket, that either says something about you Trying to trying to make your way into this tournament, or you got in there somehow, or got in there uh, trying to what? Trying just to get in there, like got a qualifying match or whatever, or they really have a lot of faith in you that you that, to put you in this tournament. Because I don't know who the hell you are, and I probably said it in the list I'm looking at right now. Oh, that's what it was. It's, it's Salinas versus the other bitch. I don't know who the hell that is. Cause it looked like uh, Ariel Salinas. But the other one, I don't know who the hell they are. Maybe it's, maybe it's Tracy Brooks. I'm not sure. I can't tell by the picture. And that's really weird that I can't tell by the picture. But whatever. The rest of these, you know, these brackets are pretty okay. They're not that bad. And honestly, this is where... This is where I say good luck. Because these are 16 of the top divas in the division. And this makes me feel so happy for the division. That it has this kind of leadership. And it has this kind of... You know, at this point, I have nothing to say. I'm, I'm kind of shocked in a way. But I'm also happy because I know that it's in good hands.